You've done everything right. Hit the goals, check the boxes, life looks good. Then why do you still feel empty on the inside? Neuroscience meets sacred science. I'm Dr. Trish Lee. I'm here to take you from hijack to supernormal peak living. If you've ever felt restless, numb, or maybe even secretly guilty that you don't feel grateful enough for the life that you've built, maybe there's something deeper going on. This isn't a character flaw. This is a miswiring, a hijack. We're taught that more is better, more output, more money, more friends, more doing, more, 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 more everything. But the problem is when productivity becomes your identity, that more leads to emptiness, not to fulfillment. Your brain begins to run in overdrive. You can never shut it off. And you know what that leads to? Yes, hustling grind, but satisfaction, maybe not. Your deeper needs for meaning and true connection go unmet. From the outside, you appear to have everything all together. A fit body, a great car, a beautiful family, a home in a neighborhood that you enjoy. But on the inside, restlessness, numbness, the need to go to the screen to feel better, maybe a constant dull ache that you can't totally put your thumb on, nor can you name. Trust me, I've been there. I lived like that for years. I was tenured and promoted at the university. I had the most beautiful, shiny Brady Bunch family, which I still have. They're not quite as shiny anymore because now we live in authenticity. But in those days, I was restless. Everyone would say to me, you have everything. Why do you keep striving? It's because I was caught in striving mode. I didn't know how to arrive. I want you to know you're not broken, nor are you ungrateful. You're stuck in a survival loop like I was for decades. It's kind of like climbing that ladder for success and you're climbing and you're climbing and you get way to the top, but then you realize you've got that ladder hoisted up against the wrong wall. Here's what's really happening. Every accomplishment that you strive for gives your brain a dopamine hit. That's the brain's reward chemical. But if it's the only chemical that your brain is searching, your baseline levels change. If it's the only fuel, the more you chase, the less you feel. Over time, the part of your brain that thinks and organizes and chases the prefrontal cortex, it takes over and you can't stop strategizing. I know how that feels. And what happens is it hijacks those feeling centers, the limbic system in your brain, the vagus nerve that should anchor you in presence, safety, security, it gets sidelined. You stay in high output mode because you've lost the ability to stay present and feel safe in the moment. It's like driving your car around town with the gas pedal to the metal and no braking system. Yes, you'll get around at a very high speed, but with limited control and eventually there's a crash. If this feels uncomfortably familiar to you, I know how that feels. And you don't have to burn your life to the ground to turn it around. It's within reach, whether you can see it or not. So stay with me and move through to the next video on how you can rewire your brain out of this hijack into super normal living, that peak living that you want and you deserve. I'm going to show you a three-step reset and rewire strategy so that you can come out of this high productivity mode and feel more satisfaction without losing your ambition. That's the sweet spot. So follow me through so we can discuss 
how to achieve without burning out. I'll see you there.